since before 2007, the world's largest passenger and cargo plane back then was the Boeing 747-400. However, that all changed when the Airbus A380 was first launched. The Boeing 747 was the world's largest passenger plane, but that is now overtaken by the Airbus A380. The Airbus A380 is much larger than the Boeing 747. Both the Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380 both have four engines, two on each wing. However, the Boeing 747 only has an upper deck on the front portion, but the back portion is just a single, single level. In contrast, the A380 is fully double-decker. The 747 is smaller than the A380. So the A380 is the beast. The Airbus A380's four engines can put out at least 8,000 pounds of thrust while the Boeing 747's engines put out somewhere around 60,000 pounds of thrust. But in all, the A380 still manages to be more efficient and less costly per passenger and would be perfect in high traffic routes like major cities and regional hubs. For how much passengers the Boeing 747 can handle, the ginormous A380 can handle 250 more passengers than the 747. The biggest difference between the two is size as the A380 is certainly much bigger than the 747. The Airbus A380 has a wingspan that is 15 meters longer than that of the 747. It is also about 50% heavier than the 747, even when it's all empty. Another interesting fact here is that the Boeing 747 can carry as many as 568 passengers, and it can carry up to 238,840 liters of jet fuel. In contrast, the A380 can carry up to 853 passengers and fuel capacity of 82,000 gallons. Here is another A380 versus Boeing 747 NASA space shuttle carrier. The space shuttle is smaller than the 747, and the 747 is smaller than the A380. Airplanes like these run on jet fuel, and the space shuttle on top of it runs on rocket fuel. And speaking of which, rockets are more powerful than jets. If you believe that um, passenger planes or cargo planes are loud, don't be fooled because sonic military jets carry more decibels than passenger commercial aircraft. So these sonic jets are louder. They will definitely hurt your ears. So ear protection, highly recommended. Especially when they break the sound barrier, which will create a loud sonic boom, which is strong enough to rattle your house. Breaking the sound barrier from a fighter jet can be heard for several miles. In terms of volume, sonic jets are not the loudest aircraft, because... 
space shuttles are louder since they run on rockets. So rockets are the loudest. So definitely want to stay clear from them. And hearing protection required. Both jets like these and rockets emit loud sounds so powerful that they can permanently cause hearing loss. So that's why you got to wear noise canceling headphones. Fighter jet is smaller, but space shuttle is larger. Space shuttle smaller than Boeing 747 which is smaller than the A380. In cruising speed, the A380 can travel up to 737 miles per hour. And military sonic jets can reach up between 2,190 miles per hour to 4,552 miles per hour. They fly very fast like don't blink or you'll miss it both fighter jets and space shuttles emit a tremendous roar a roar that sounds like a skyquake we can nickname them skyquakers don't you think when a jet breaks the sound barrier and makes your house shake it'll feel like an earthquake even though that the ground beneath your feet is not really shaking. And NASA will make the skies roar when they launch their spaceships or rockets. Little ones like this stunt plane don't have the power to do such. Okay, I totally lost it. What I was going to say is this little plane doesn't have the power that sonic jets and rockets have. This plane is just not built for it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you liked it, and let me know in the comments which of these planes are your favorite. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.